tell me, Harper, wherefore flow Thy wayward notes of wail and woe Far down the desert of Glencoe Where none may list their melody Say, harpst thou to the mists that fly Or to the dun deer glancing by Or to the eagle that from high Screams chorus to thy minstrelsy No, not to these, for they have rest The mist wreath has the mountain crest The stag his lair, the urn her nest Abode of lone security but those for whom I pour the lay, not wildwood deep, nor mountain grey, nor this deep dell that shrouds from day, could screen from treacherous cruelty. Their flag was furled, and mute their drum. The very household dogs were dumb, unwont to bay at guests that come, in guise of hospitality. His blithest notes the piper plied, her gayest snood the maiden tied, the dame her distaff flung aside, to tend her kindly housewifery. The hand that mingled in the meal At midnight drew the felon steel And gave the host kind breast to feel Mead for his hospitality The friendly hearth which warmed that hand At midnight armed it with the brand And bade destruction's flame expand The red and fearful blazonry Then woman's shriek was heard in vain Nor infancy's unpitied plain More than the warrior's groan can gain Respite from ruthless butchery the winter winds that whistled shrill, the snows that night that cloaked the hill, though wild and pitiless, had still far more than southern clemency. Long have my harp's best notes been gone, pure its strings and faint their tone. They can but sound in desert lone, their grey-haired master's misery. Were each grey hair a minstrel string, each chord should imprecations fling, till startled Scotland loud should ring. Revenge for blood and treachery. <laughs>